integrate secant to the fourth power of x solution. So whenever you have uh, a lone power of secant and it's even, the trick is to save a secant squared. So you want to write this as secant squared x times secant squared x dx. Again, whenever you have a secant and it's by itself and you have an even power, so whenever you have a secant to an even power, you want to save a secant squared. Okay, so now uh, we're saving a secant squared. So u is going to be tangent in this case. You might say, well, where's tangent? Well, what we're going to do is use an identity. If you remember, 1 plus tangent squared, that's equal to secant squared. So you replace this secant squared with 1 plus tangent squared. And then you still have this secant squared here. So whenever you have like secant to the fourth, secant to the sixth, secant to the eighth, just save a secant squared and then convert the rest to tangents and then u is your tangent. Now we'll compute du. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared x dx. And that's precisely this piece here. So this becomes the integral of 1 plus u squared and then here we just have du, right? Because all of this here is du. And then we just integrate, right? So when you integrate 1, you get u plus, and then when you integrate u squared, you get u cubed over 3 using the power rule. 2 plus 1 is 3, and then you divide by that, and then plus c. The last step is to replace all of the u's with tangents. This would be tangent of x plus, and then parentheses, tangent of x, cubed over 3 plus our constant c. That's it.